Hallelujah. 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 This is Apostle Israel Oyelade. Uh, welcome to Voice of the Prophets. This is a platform that brings you a prophetic helping hand to address every situation of your life, around your life. Um, in this prophetic meeting today, I bring you a word from the book of Numbers, chapter 20, verse 8. And God speaking to Moses, I read from Numbers, chapter 20, verse 8. And speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. Right now, you are just looking at me. You see me right now and speaking right before your eyes. I'm addressing the rock that is opposing, that has been set to oppose your advancement. I am speaking to that rock right now before your eyes. And speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. There's a need for you to connect with your prophet so he can address your situation right before your eyes. And it, 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 that is the divine order. One of the divine order in getting situation turned around for good is that you stand before your prophets. When Saul met with Samuel, his situation changed. He stopped wondering and in, in, indeed he was placed on a high throne, the highest apex throne in Israel. He became a king by meeting, by standing before the prophet. God always wants us to connect with a prophetic hand. And, and, but this is not where I'm taking you to this morning. And let's look at that scripture. And speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. And it shall give forth his water. You see, when, when you are positioned before your very miracle, when the miracle happens, who grabs it? You. So God wants Moses to speak to the rock right before their very eyes so that as the rock brings forth water they are there right there to receive their miracle uh, as i speak right now as you watch me right now something is oozing out of my spirit by the leading of the lord by the power of the spirit releasing into your life your very desire miracles in the name of jesus and speak unto the rock before their eyes, and he shall bring forth his waters. Every rock has his own water. Every rock has his own water. Listen to me. Every problem, every problem has a solution. It, it lies, it's every solution lies in every trouble or afflictions of life. You understand what I'm saying right now? Every condition you ever found yourself, in it lies a solution. And speak unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall bring and, and it shall give forth its water. It shall give forth its water. It means in that rock there is water hidden. In that challenge you're going through right now there's a solution there's a solution hallelujah hallelujah and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock god is going to use your affliction turn your affliction around as and it shall become a stepping stone to your lifting in the name of jesus i prophesy right now that that affliction, that low level where you are, it shall be your stepping stone to the next level. In the name of Jesus, and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock. So thou shalt, shalt give the congregation and their beast to drink. <laughs> and thou shalt give the congregation this water you shall give the water that that was given out of this rock to the congregation and their beast awesome god we serve 
You see, when God makes a provision, He makes a provision good enough to take care of you and your dependents. To take care of you and your community. To take care of you and your neighborhood. To take care of you and your nation. To take care of you and the people around you. To take care of you and your family. So, when it was time for God to give water to the Israelites, what God did, the people of Israel needed water to drink. As they journeyed through the wilderness, 40 years journey. But remember, they never lacked. There was sufficient of food. They had eaten so much, but they needed water to flush in the, the heaviness of the food, the meal that was served them. They were thirsty. There was, it was time for them to drink water. They have ate manna. But it is time now for them to drink water. And God said to Moses, God provided the manna. But for the drinking of the water, God said to Moses, God provided you with life. You have life, you are living, but situation around you might not be alive. God has given you life. But for the situation that is horrible around you to be turned around, God speaks to prophets. God sends forth a prophet. By a prophet, they were led out. By a prophet, they were preserved. And when it was time for God to give them water, the people of Israel, God told Moses, speak to the rock so that it may bring forth water. <laughs> I speak right now by the power of the anointing. Let your situation be turned around for good in the name of Jesus. That hopeless situation that confronts you right now. Be turned around for good in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can I hear you shout the loudest? Amen. Hallelujah. The word speak. When God said to Moses, speak. Speak to the rock. That it may bring forth water. The word speak, as used in that scripture, is derived from the Hebrew word daba. Daba. D A B A R. Daba. One of the meanings of daba is to arrange. Is to arrange. So when God said to Moses, Speak to the rock that it might bring forth water. God is saying, speak forth the power to arrange water for my people. To organize water for my people. You see, one of the things that prophetic ministry does, is that it brings forth the things that does not exist into existence. It has the capacity, when the prophet speaks, it has the, they have the capacity to bring forth what does not exist into reality. That is the, one of the, the power of God, of Jehovah God. He, he, he maketh those things which be not as though they were. God can turn every situation, horrible situation around for good, right on the spot. So when God said to Moses, speak to the rock, that word has the capacity to organize water into the rock. Oh, hallelujah. That word has the capacity that the word of Moses, whatever word Moses was to speak forth, has the capacity to, to arrange water into the rock that it might bring forth water for them to drink. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It, your, right now, your bank account may be red. But as I prophesy right now, financial breakthrough in for your life. The power of God has the capacity, the word of God, the word of God has the capacity to produce money into your account. The power of God has the power, the capacity to arrange money for you. He has a capacity. When God said to, to, Mo, to, to Elijah by the, by the brook, 
You know, he was hungry and he needed food. God spoke to a raven. Ravens don't bring meat. They eat meat. Ravens don't share their meat with people. In fact, a raven, if he's hungry, can eat his own flesh. But God spoke to a raven to take meat down to the brook for Elijah. The word of God has a capacity to, to command situation around for your good. So, so what Moses was going to say had the capacity to arrange whatsoever that had gone out of order. Hallelujah. Whatsoever that has gone out of order, whatever Moses was going to say has the capacity to bring order into that situation. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There was a scatter situation in front of Moses and the people of Israel. They were grumbling. They were murmuring. They were frustrated. They were tested. tested. They, were, they, were, they, were, they, they, they were dried up in their throats. They, they, they were tested. They, they needed water. They, 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 they were dried up in the wilderness. There was no water in the wilderness. You don't find water in the wilderness. And this man, over three million people, Following one prophet, when a situation, hopeless situation, that could sniff life out of them, and God spake to Moses, and God spake to Moses, and God spake to Moses. There was a scatter situation in, right in front of Moses, and his declaration was meant to arrange it. His declaration was meant to fix it. God took Prophet Ezekiel to, to, the, to, the, to the valleys of dry bones. Prophet Ezekiel got to the valley of dry bones and, and, and it was an hopeless situation. And God, God asked the prophet, can this bone live again? I mean, the prophet should be asking God, God, these bones are the bones of, of the remnant of the house of Israel. Can they live again? No, but this time it was God that brought the prophet right there into the situation and asked the prophet, can this bone live again? And the prophet said, thou Lord know it. God knows what you are going through. But the power to turn it around lies in the tongue of your prophets. Lies in your tongue. Sometimes you, listen to me friend, sometimes God wants you to even speak to your situation. To address your situation. And whereby your strength is limited or your faith is weakened by reason of afflictions and challenges, then you need a prophet. You need a prophet. Whatever Moses was going to say, again I said to you, had the capacity to arrange, to organize water for the people of Israel. As I'm speaking right now, God is arranging your situation for good. God is fixing your mess. God is turning, to, turning around your mess, no, around for good. Greatness is coming forth out of you. Babies in that womb that seems dried up, that womb that seems deaf, they've said to you that your womb is dead, you cannot bring forth babies. I speak to that womb right now to get organized for conception. The, your womb is being reorganized for conception right now. Right now. I speak to your finance. In the name of Jesus, receive the power to fix your financial mess. In the name of Jesus, as I speak right now, financial favor is coming through for you. Friend, God says, your positive declaration 
make divine arrangement on your behalf. This is what God is trying to say to us. Every time you speak forth good, good words, they have the capacity to arrange your life, your scattered life. Don't say, I'm tired of life. Stop saying, I, I, I feel like dying right now. You are prophesying death already. Stop saying, I am frustrated. The reason why you are getting frustrated. Stop stay, saying, it is over for you. The reason why nothing is working. Begin to speak positive. Positive words to your situation right now. It may look rocky. But you can rock in the rock. The situation may appear rocky. But you can rock in the rock. You can go dancing right now. When praise ascend, the earth is commanded to bring forth its increase. Start to celebrate your victory even before it appears. Moses speak forth. Why? Because the just shall live by faith. To live by faith is to speak by faith. If we ever going to live by faith, it is to speak by faith. Let positivity flow from your mouth and not negativity. That's what I'm saying. To live by faith is to speak by faith. He called those things which be not as though they were. Let posi posi po 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 positivity begin to flow out of your mouth right now. <coughs> and not negativity. Stop saying those evil words to your children. Stop saying to your wife, you are, no, you are no good. Stop saying to your husband, you are a failure. Stop, stop, stop saying to your children, you, you, are a, you are a disappointment. Stop saying to yourself, I have failed. You have not failed. You are not a failure. God is turning that situation around. You may have failed in your marriage. But God is reorganizing that marriage. You may have failed in your finances. A lot of you are facing financial challenges right now. But I speak for the power to rearrange your, your finance. In the name, God desire the prosperity of his people. Speak life to every circumstance around you that is scattered right now. Be it your health condition. Marital status, financial situation, career, or business wise. Remember, God said, Speak ye unto the rock, and before their eyes it shall give water. God Himself guarantee that the speaking of Moses will force the rock to give water. God guarantee that each time we speak forth, Moses didn't quote any scripture. He just, I didn't know what he said to the rock. I'm sure he just said to the rock, water, comfort. Like Jesus said to, to the tomb of Lazarus, Lazarus, comfort. And the Bible says, he that was dead. He didn't speak to the dead man. He only called the dead man. The dead man wasn't hearing. By, 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 the, by the nature of, of uh, by the natural law, but Christ get into the tomb of this dead Lazarus. He spoke forth. He addressed the situation. The dead spirit. The dead man. The dead spirit in the dead man. Jumped out and the he that was dead was made alive. What made Lazarus a dead man was that a dead spirit entered him. So what makes you to be having financial mess is that devourers may have crept in. Witchcraft manipulation 
may have been set around your finances or your marriage or your business or your career. You're not making headway. But as I speak right now, God is rearranging them in the name of Jesus. God himself guaranteed that the speaking of Moses will force the rock, will force the rock. And thou shalt say to this mountain, be thou removed, and it shall be removed. Jesus speaking. Here we saw God speaking to Moses. Jesus came and said, thou shalt say to this mountain, thou shalt say to this mountain, thou shalt say to this mountain. I am speaking to the mountain of your life right now. Be removed in the name of Jesus. As you make positive confessions and declarations over your life, the heavens will hear your voice. In the name of Jesus. And there shall be a response on earth. In the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray this prayer with me. Say after me. Lord. May my prophetic confessions make divine arrangements that will yield results in Jesus' name. Say it one more time. Lord, make my prophetic confessions make divine arrangement that will yield results in Jesus' name. Say it one more time. Lord, may my prophetic confessions make divine arrangements that will yield results in Jesus' name, may your prophetic declaration or confessions make divine arrangements that we yield results. In Jesus' name, amen. Rejoice, brother. Rejoice, sister. God has stepped in into that situation. And don't give up. Hang on the line of faith. And believe the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe as prophet, and ye shall prosper. I'll see you. In case you have a testimony after this broadcast, you, you can call me on, 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 my, on, on my prayer line, 5716231010. Four six, that's my direct line. Five seven one six two three one zero four six. And in case you have a prayer request, you can give me a call, and I will be there to answer you. God is in the business of answering prayers. You can also join us on on our weekly prayer line. Duties. Will be, will be, will be, will be, will be placed on your screen in a short while. God bless you. This is Voice of the Prophet with Baba Apostle Israel Oyelade. Bye bye.